My favorite Miss Universe winner till date has been Zozi Bini Tunzi. Zozi Bini Tunzi made sure that a woman with my type of hair and a woman with my type of skin and a woman from where I'm from does matter and we are enough and we are capable of conquering the universe. Katriona Gray, a woman with beauty and charisma that goes beyond the screens. I love her. I love her lover walk. I love the fact that she turns up in as little as a walk into a legacy. Her performance really showed how genuine and how hard work and perseverance can really shine when you need it to shine the most. She is a true example of a woman who is following her dreams. Talk about an imprint in society. Wendy Fitzwilliam, Miss Universe 1998. Being able to see the playback of her performance, seeing her on stage being regal and elegant. She did not try too hard. It was just effortless. The most recent winners from my country, Andrea Mesa and Jimena Navarrete, have been a huge inspiration because they have elevated Mexico to a higher and privileged position. The first Miss Universe winner that I identify with is Andrea Meza. She has that quiet confidence and strength that I can relate to. She's always been very calm and yet when she performs on stage, she brought it. She always recognizes the entire team that is behind her. She is a queen who knows how to work as a team. One of my other favorites is Michelle McLean, Miss Universe 1992. And here she is! <laughs> like her, I feel passion for supporting children who couldn't get the opportunities that they deserve. It has to be our first reigning Puerto Rican to win Miss Universe, Marisol Malaret. She not only started that passion for beauty pageants on the island, but her hardworking and perseverant mind lent her to post Miss Universe, direct a magazine called Caras. I really like Olivia Culpa because she's a businesswoman, an entrepreneur, and a dreamer. My favorite Miss Universe of all time is Angela Fischer, Miss Universe in 1989. She's the only Dutch woman who's ever won Miss Universe, so she's very inspiring to me. We also share the same birthday. Is that a coincidence? Demi inspired me truly because she was only 22 when she won Miss Universe. And being one of the youngest contestants in this year's Miss Universe competition, it has really inspired me and other young women to reach their dreams and their goals. She inspires me by helping women to get rid of fears and teaching self-defense. It's so great that a woman can teach other women to be strong. This is Miss Universe 2006 Zuleika Rivera. Zuleika is not about only beauty, but she's about energy as well. When you look for inspiration from the fabulous women who have won the crown, I have always found that Barbara Palacio stayed in Miss Universe in 1986. She was able to win the hearts of the world with her diplomacy, intelligence and grace. The former Miss Universe who has affected me the most is Rina Moore. She empowered women around the world and I think that she represented Israel very gracefully. The two former Miss Universe winners that have impacted me the most are of course the first ever Miss Universe, Armi Kugusala, and the second Finnish winner, Anne Bohtom. They really showed me that anything is possible and even a small girl from a little country like Finland can show the whole world what we are made of. Miss Universe 2015, Pia Wurzbach. I just think it's so amazing to see somebody so proud to represent Miss Universe. Also just not only her country, but the whole uh, Miss Universe brand. Pia also made me realize that being a Miss Universe is an honor. We have the responsibility to influence the people around us while doing it confidently, beautiful, with heart.